If you're just starting out as a new eBay seller, it's a pretty daunting task to work out exactly what items to sell on eBay. In this video, I'm gonna take you through 10 of the easiest household items that you can sell for a profit on eBay. So the first category is one that we've had pretty good success in, and it's actually a favorite of mine. I just love my hats. I'm always wearing hats, and I think a good place to start with eBay is working out what do you actually just enjoy finding or enjoy potentially putting in time and effort to go on to sell. And for me, hats have been a bit of a passion item for me, uh, and I love going out to thrift stores and trying to find ones. A lot of people say, how do you know which hats to find, or you seem to have a bit of an eye for the category, and it's just my own personal preference. If I look into this tub, like old school hats like this, anything, like this says a 1992 Indy 500, and it's a winner's hat. There's a little signature on there as well, not that I think signatures are super important, but you can tell it's an American vintage. It's got Texas there on the, on the tag. So a hat like this is something that I think somebody out there as a collector might like to pick up. Hats is a really good category because it's a bit of a low risk item um, if you're just starting out on eBay. Um, because you, you're only ever going to be buying these for a couple of cents, uh, a couple of dollars, and they can go on to sell for a pretty much an average sale price. But we usually sell them for like 20 to $30, don't we? Yeah. Um, but let's go on eBay and I'll show you some really good examples of some hats that have sold for quite a bit of money. Now, the next one is a good one that I've done right from the very beginning, the shoes. Um, we've got in our inventory all of these. So literally 25 tubs. And I'm going to guess that there's about 10 shoes in every single tub. So we've got about 250 shoes to try and sell on eBay at the moment. And our store size is about 1,800 items. Um, so it's a little, it's about 15% of our inventory is the shoe category. Um, and we get about 15% of our sales actually, funnily enough, in the shoe category as well. So we do get a, a good turnover. Um, if we open a toe up here and have a bit of a look, these are, these are a couple of examples. And as you'll see, a lot of them are usually gonna be running shoes for us. Running shoes just seem to do the best, but like any item that you're trying to sell on eBay, quality is so, so important. Um, so when I'm out doing my thrifting, I'm looking for shoes that have got a lot of tread left in the sole. Um, there's no fabric tears either. And hopefully it's a really good brand as well that goes on to sell well. New Balance has been a pretty good brand for us over the years. Um, we've got some Asics in here as well. Asics running shoes do really, really well. Uh, but then other casual shoes uh, like the Birkenstock. The Birkenstock sandal can bring up some really good money, $50, $60 on Birkenstocks. Um, and then these are a probably an example of a shoe that isn't as good. This is just a pair of Globe skate shoes. Um, they've been hanging around in the inventory pile for, for quite a while. So it's not a brand that I would pick up. But again, we were trying and testing over the years and that was one that we know now not to get. Um, this is another good category as well. You've got the hiking shoes. Um, so any sort of boots like this, uh, a really good brand here is actually Keen. Um, so Keen does really well. I don't have in this tub another sort of category of shoe that does really well, but I've got so many of them. We'll probably, here we go, yep. Football boots. So football boots sell super well. I've been selling for three and a half years and I've sold so many pairs of football boots. So that's a category that you can sort of dive into and start to do some research on. Surely uh, everyone has them at home. Everyone's got a pair. Everyone's got kids that have played football, uh, played some soccer over the years. They might have grown out of their shoes and they're just sitting in a pile in the corner of the room. Put them on eBay because, you know, you can get around 30 to $40 for a pair of shoes. I think our average sale price is probably about $40, mm. uh, maybe $40 to $50. All right, now we've condensed this category. It was something that was quite significant back when I first started selling on eBay, and I've got out of it heavily. But this is the tub of clothing, and clothing is something that literally every single one of you guys can start your eBay journey with. Um, a very kind of... I wouldn't say simple to list. I've actually got out of trying to sell clothing because it is a little bit more of a timely process. You've got to learn the ins and outs of different clothing items and different specifications when it comes to clothing. Where shoes, you don't really have that too much of a stress and all the details around the shoe is on the shoe. This clothing stuff does get a little bit complicated if you're an absolute brand newbie. So a really good category of uh, clothing that I like to try and sell still to this day is jeans. Now, these ones here is a really good brand there to, to talk about. That is Diesel. Um, we've got a number of pairs of diesel jeans here. We've got three pairs up there and one here. So four pairs of jeans for the diesel brand. Um, we're pricing these up for about $50. And uh, that's a very common price that you can get for a pair of used pre-owned jeans. Um, if we have a look at more clothing items that we've got in our inventory, I've actually focused a lot of my clothing around the sports clothing. Um, so this one here is a good example. We've got a couple of jerseys, a Hawthorne Football Club jersey. We're listing this one up for about $45. 
Um, so if you've got any old sports gear that you no longer want, uh, maybe the kids have used it for training days and they've grown out of it, um, you can do a search on eBay and you can see that it's actually worth some pretty decent money. Vintage, like any category, vintage items do really well in clothing. Um, this one here, a Queensland Maroon State of Origin rugby jersey. Uh, we're going to try and get 50 bucks for that. Even with some scuff marks and some peel there on the sponsorship, as you can see on Amy, um, that can still sell for some great money as well. So it's not something that I'm focusing on a massive great deal on, only because the sell-through rate for clothing is a little bit slower. Other categories sell really well in the sense of going faster. We can turn these items quicker. Clothing, not so much. They hang around and that's not what we're about. So we're slowly phasing out and just trying to buy the quality clothing items only and hopefully have them go on the sell. Some of the stuff you used to have as a kid, you might have some old boxes lying around the house. It might be something like this, your old Pokemon cards, collectibles, trading cards. They do really, really well. I've actually got a big tub down here as well of what I haven't yet gone through and researched too heavily, but we've got the old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So these things can sell really well as well. Um, so anything trading card related, we've done a lot of sports cards. There's been basketball cards that have sold out of here. Um, a lot of different specifications to cards and a lot of research that you have to do with cards. But these are old nostalgic collectible items that people have had lying around the house for years and years. And still to this day, there is value in every single one of these cards. So I've got a lot of Pokemon. Pokemon trades really, really well on eBay. Big collector market out there for the category. And people do this full time. People do cards full time. So don't, don't stress what card you have. Just give it a test. Throw it up on eBay. See what the comps are and you might be surprised. Now, if you had have, uh, asked me what my number one selling category was gonna be three and a half years ago, I would not have said that it was gonna be the DVD category. But as you'll see here, we have an entire bookcase of what is ultimately TV shows. So a lot of different TV shows, a lot of different genres, um, but we're doing bundles of TV shows. So it might be season one to five, it might be, it might be season one if it's a super rare show and we're just trying to sell it off as one individual item. But these things sell like hotcakes and they were our number one best-selling item last year. We did $42,000 in DVDs and we focused 90% of it on TV shows, TV shows only. Over here, this is sort of our box set wall. Um, you'll see that a lot of these, as we're finding them in thrift stores, they're in their box sets, and that's the best telltale sign to say that it's an item that's going to comp up for some decent value. A um, couple of really good examples here is this TV show of Alias. Um, this is season one to five. It's every single episode of the TV show, and we're trying to sell that for about $40, and we've sold it so many times for $40 in the past that I know that we're going to get a pretty quick turnaround. We only just bought it a couple of days ago. People don't think that DVDs are worth any money, and you can actually ask friends and family for their own DVDs that they've got lying around the house. Uh, and you'd be amazed at how much it actually goes on the sell for. So DVDs, make sure you focus on that. Welcome to our wall of video games. This is another really cool household item that can sell for a lot, a lot of money. Um, you could be focusing on consoles. We've got a bunch of consoles down here that we're trying to just sell off. We've got a PS4 console and its controller there. And then we've also got stuff like this as well. Bigger, bulkier items. You've got to be conscious around the, the size and the weight of an item. Like this one here will cost a little bit to ship off, um, even though it is in the video game console category. Um, I like to focus more away from that sort of stuff. And I like to focus just on the video games only. Um, so we've got a large number of games here. We've got PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, Xbox One. There's pretty much no video game console that we'll pass on because all of them sell really, really well. Even your old school stuff like this. This is a really good game, I'm pretty sure. I think the comps on this one are quite high. We've got Acro, uh, Aero the Acrobat, number two. I think it was like a $100 uh, Sega Mega Drive game. So everyone's got video games when they were a kid growing up. Yeah. And you sure. would be surprised, Courtney, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, well, not you, because you know exactly how much they're worth. I wouldn't be, but you will be. You will be. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this and you don't know about video games on eBay. Go straight to that room. Yeah. You've got some listening. Open up the games drawer, um, because there's a lot of this stuff. It was our second best-selling category. Um, last year, I think we did about $20,000 in video games. So, a good one to focus on. Also, what I should say is it's so easy to ship off. Like, you just you whack it into an envelope, and it's about four or five bucks, um, versus these big, heavy, bulky consoles. They can go for like $15, $20. So I like to focus on the video games. Cheap, um, cheap purchase price and cheap shipping price.
Now the next one is something that I, again, when I first started, as I mentioned, we did a lot of clothing back in the day. Uh, we also did a lot of books and we've actually slowly kind of got back into the books over mm. the last 12 months. Hey, yeah. I think in large part to you, Courtney. Yeah. Um, we've got these five tubs here of books. Now, a bit like DVDs and video, well, a bit like DVDs, I should say, finding books in bundles <laughs> is the best way to go and sell your items. So this here is a bundle of um, foot trot flats. And we've got about 11 books in there that we're selling as a bundle. Uh, so, that, and I mean, even in here, if you have a look at this, there's a bunch of street machine magazines. Everyone has old magazines, I reckon. And magazines have got good value. Yeah. Some certain magazines can do really, really well. And also, these are vintage magazines too. Um, like, this street machine is from the year 2000. Yeah. And you've got September, October there. If you found the full set of 2000 every single month, all 12 editions or six editions, however many they did, and you did some comp research on eBay for the magazine series that you have, you'd be surprised at what they, uh, what they comp up to. The only issue with the books is they are quite a heavy item, and mm. that will mean that you'll pay a little bit more in post. Um, but look, we, we do still, to this day, as you can see, um, focus on the book category and books are also good a bit like the video games because you can buy them if you're getting out of the house and you're looking to start buying some stock um, video games in thrift uh, sorry books in thrift stores are always like one or two dollars um, so you can buy books really cheap and some of these books can go on to 50 100 150 200 dollars depending on which one you have this one really kind of blew up for us last year and the category that i'm referring to is toys action figures have a look at this we got a bunch of different action figures that we try to sell. So this is a, a whole heap of wrestling gear. Um, we've got different wrestling action figures that I used to love when I was a kid growing up. And people are still after this stuff. Now this stuff is 2003. 2003 WWE uh, wrestling toys. We've got some like Lord of the Rings characters in here. Um, I found some Dragon Ball Z characters a couple of months ago and they went on to sell for some pretty crazy money too. So. Yeah, these are sorts of items that everybody's got if they've got kids. Yeah. Um, if you've got kids that are later in life, 20, 30, a bit like me, 30 odd years old, and you've still got their stuff in a cupboard, in an attic, a bunch of different action figures could do really, really well as well. Um, so we've got one tub there, and then we've got a bit of a miscellaneous tub of action figures and stuff in here. Like This is all stuff that we sell as well. Um, so like we've got a Pikachu money box. Pikachu money box can sell. I mean, that's a vintage Nintendo one. Um, you use that information for your comp research. We've got a Pikachu there too. Uh, a lot of Pokemon. Pokemon does really, really well. Um, there's another WWE Flexums action figure in its box, which always helps things. Um, and then, yeah, like, I don't know. Just random figures that you can... You can actually use a thing called Google Lens. Um, and if you don't know what Google Lens is, we use it all the time. It's... A feature, it's an app on the phone where you click on a camera icon and you can just take a shot of the toy that you might have and it'll bring up all the Google search listings of that toy so you can work out its name, its year, um, all the information that you need to help with your listing. Um, so Google Lens, it's not something I've spoken about too heavily uh, on the channel but it really, really helps us. Um, and then yeah, more, more wrestling figures there as well. So yeah, another good category, toys. Everyone's got them. And then this is another really good item, your phones. Everyone updates their phones. Everyone's got old phones lying in their cupboard. Um, they might not think that anyone thinks that any of value um, if they're getting the new, latest and greatest model, but people might be after the old ones. And there's big collector markets in the phone category as well for you guys to be considering. So we've sold old like iPhone S or iPhone 4s, yeah. iPhone 4s, iPhone 5s that I used to have back you know, 10, 15 years ago. Um, now still, they were selling for about fifty or sixty dollars. Yeah. So, you know, yes, you don't have the latest and the greatest, but if you check on eBay for old phones of any description, even the old Nokia thirty three fifteens where you used to play snakes and ladders, yeah, they still go on to sell on eBay. Yeah. So old phones, and I should touch on the last one as well while we're here, is cameras. So cameras is something that I want to focus on quite heavily in uh, in twenty twenty four. Cameras are just. What I'm realizing is there's a big collector's market out there for the vintage stuff, um, as well as the use of practicality of finding a really good model and a really good latest and greatest. It's the old stuff that can do really well as well. So my knowledge around cameras isn't that great, but I've just seen people turn over cameras for just really big, big money, like two, three, four hundred dollars. Um, 
So I'm going to start to place a bit more of a focus on that. And I know that people have got their old handy cams, um, the camcorders, you know, for the Christmas Day video recording, those sorts of things. Um, and they can still go on to sell for a couple of hundred bucks. So that electronics category is a good one. DVD, VCR um, combo players do really well. DVD players, Blu-ray players, a bit like the video game consoles, all that electronic category can do well. It's just quite expensive to ship off. Um, so that would be my only limitation or concern. You just got to make sure you know how much it's going to ship for. So what I'd like you to do from here is to have a look around your own house. See if you can find some of these items that you've got lying around the house that you no longer want. From there, I'll get you guys to go and tune into this video right here. It's a beginner's friendly guide of how to sell on eBay, step by step, taking you through the entire process. Good luck selling those first couple of items lying around the house. Thanks for being here for this one. We'll see you over there.